And here with me now to dive into the upcoming coalition negotiations, we have author, senior fellow at the Kohelet Policy Forum, and expert in international relations with the Jerusalem Institute for Strategy and Security, Dr. Emmanuel Navon. So Netanyahu got the first mandate, but do you think he's actually going to try to form a coalition right now? Well, he's going to pretend to try. He's, uh, he knows that he has no chance. I mean, unless maybe uh, if Lieberman decides to uh, change his mind and go back to the uh, right-wing camp uh, and extol from Netanyahu a very high price, such as sharing the uh, the uh, prime minister, the, the post of prime minister for two years or something. So it might be that you never know. With Lieberman, always expect anything. So, uh, but other than that, I think that the, the chances are pretty low. And so, uh, I, I don't think Netanyahu really is going to be able to form a government. So, but did he want to get the first mandate in the first place, or was this all kind of just a play? Because uh, you know there were these reports that Gantz again wanted the second mandate. To right, drop. so this was discussed uh, within Likud and at the end of the day it was decided that Netanyahu would uh, get the first uh, try. Uh, and it was discussed also uh, within Blue and White and it was decided that Blue and White did not want to be given the first chance and let Netanyahu uh, fail. But within Likud it was decided at the end of the day uh, to try and get the first, uh, the first uh, option. Okay, so now President Rivlin offered a solution that would make, uh, you know, he offered a solution to the candidates where they would share responsibilities between the two parties, and that was summarily shot down, apparently. Why do you think that is? So there are two obstacles to this solution. First of all, I think the solution proposed by uh, the president is a good one. In other words, to change the law in order to enable Netanyahu to stay around even if he's indicted and be replaced by, uh, by Benny Gantz and extend uh, the period of time during which Netanyahu wouldn't sure. be able to serve as prime minister. I think. Uh, Netanyahu himself has expressed his uh, willingness to consider he this said, solution. He apparently said he would accept it. Yeah, yes. So, but there are two issues here. First of all, coming from Blue and White. Uh, Blue and White is saying, we do not want to, uh, to uh, serve with Netanyahu regardless. And here they will have, I think, uh, to show some flexibility and say, well, you know, uh, unless Netanyahu is indicted, by the way, even by law, he does not have to resign if he's uh, even indicted. If he's indicted, sure. uh, But if, uh, you know, if Netanyahu accepts the solution of uh, Reuven Rivlin, the president, and agree some kind of half uh, re resignation in case of an indictment, I think uh, Blue and White should uh, accept that. But coming from Likud, the, the obstacle from the Likud side is that Likud is coming to those negotiations with Blue and White not, not as a party, but as a bloc. And Blue and White is saying, we're not negotiating with a bloc of 55, we're negotiating with the Likud. Uh, cancel your agreement with, uh, uh, with your, your partner. So I think Likud will have, in my opinion, if we won't have real negotiations, Likud will have to walk away from this agreement and Gantz and Lapid and the rest of the party will have to, to stop saying that they won't sit with Netanyahu because definitely if he's not indicted, there's no reason really for them to uh, boycott him. So do you, do you suspect, because, I mean, you just said that if Netanyahu is not going to be able to get Gantz or, or Lieberman uh, onto his side during these first negotiations, then ideally it'll flip to Gantz, who is not going to negotiate with his bloc, so that might fail. Are we going to go to third elections? Look, the only solution is a national unity government between Likud and Blue and White. We all know that. Uh, going to a third election, uh, beside the, the fact that it would be really terrible for the mm -hmm. country, but uh, it would be a huge risk for both uh, parties because you know how you start an election, you never know how you end them. So both of them, I calculate, both Gantz and Netanyahu might figure that, you know, with a third election they might do even better, but they can do also worse. So it's a huge risk, it's bad for the country, and I think it's, it's about time for both Netanyahu and Gantz to really uh, go for a national unity uh, government, accept a compromise uh, proposed by the president for Likud to walk away from this agreement with the uh, right-wing parties, and for Gantz and Lapid to stop saying that they won't sit with Netanyahu, Definitely, if he's, uh, before he's indicted, and even he's indi if he is indicted, as I said, by law, he does not have to resign. And I think the uh, solution proposed by the president is a good one and should be uh, accepted. Dr. Navon, thank you so much. Thank you.